Hi, I'm Carolina. Today is day two of our digital portrait bootcamp on Procreate. Uh, by the end of this video, you'll know how to draw a face. Today, we are learning how to use shapes to do better drawings. I'm going to show you some examples of how you can practice doing this on Procreate. So we are going to start delete this, I'm going to hide this and you have here the four uh, portraits that we are going to be working on on this series of digital. You can see that I have selected them looking to different parts like the, looking to the right or looking up on purpose. So I'm going to take first this uh, number one and I'm going to take our pencil. I'm using Sketching in the brush library. Sketching 6B pencil white and it doesn't matter you can use the pencil that you want for this. So what I'm going to do so number one reduce reduce everything to geometric shapes geometric shapes and why I grow this because this is so important to learn how to draw and doesn't matter if you are drawing a face or you are drawing an object uh, this is a technique that is going to help you to draw so much better so I'm going to teach you the fundamentals on uh, how to uh, draw a face. So the first thing that you need to do is, uh, and I recommend you to do is just to take a photo and uh, paste it in here on the layers. So a way to do that is you can just uh, create a new layer where you want to put a photo. And then you go to here to tools and then insert a photo. And it's going to open all the photos that you have in, uh, in, in your gallery. So the things that you have saved in your normal gallery in your iPad. So let's say that I'm going to select this one. So then we have this one because I have so many uh, photos. If you want to see the full photo, uh, the only thing that you need to do is just take this layer you push in there and then you just move it to the top and then it's going to be in here. So here is just the, the drawing of a cat, but it's good to explain this. I know that this is not a face, but it's just to explain what I mean in case that you are starting from zero with drawing uh, and everything. So I will leave the drawing in here and then I will create another layer to do a drawing on the top of this. And uh, this practice, I have a teacher when I was younger, when I was learning, that he said, well, I'm not, this, the concept is not about tracing, okay? So what he said is, uh, take magazines at that time, I'm older, I, we didn't have like iPads and this kind of things. So you can do the same if you don't have an iPad still, uh, or if you're not going to have it. And it's... Um, take a magazines and break it in um, geometric shapes. So for example, here I, I have like an oval in here. Here I have like this super nice shape. And then what I'm doing is I'm breaking things. So the objective is really not to uh, draw everything that we found on that magazines. So the objective was just to break everything in easy uh, shapes for later uh, do the drawing. So for example, I will just try to do this. So then I will start uh, copying the shapes that I have them. So this exercise is really good for uh, learning how to draw um, with uh, starting with geometric shapes. So then what I will do is just in my drawing, copy uh, that uh, shapes to do my cut. And of course I'm doing it like super fast, so I'm pretty sure that this I can do better. 
and so you can use a lot of references photographies and everything and then you can do your own thing or your own stuff or change things and everything but this kind of drawing uh, this kind of technique will help you to do uh, your proportions so much better so then we have uh, here this cut okay so now I'm going to uh, like get rid of this get rid of this because it was just a kind of explanation about that and I'm going to select uh, this drawing so imagine that I just want to do that photo a little bit smaller so what I do is that I take the lasso tool that is this one and then I just select this photo in that layer, okay? And then I touch this arrow, ding, and then I have it selected. And then what I can do is I can just make it a little bit smaller. That is what I need for the purposes of the class today. So I have that one. Okay, so we're going to keep uh, going on how to reduce everything to geometric shapes to learn how to do a face. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a face of the front. The front is just, is just looking totally to the front and a lot of students uh, make a lot of mistakes with this and I'm going to show you why because it's quite easy to, to do this mistake. Um, so the first thing that we need to do uh, to break this on, on shapes is doing a circle. Like I told you uh, in the class number one, we do a lot of circles. like. Yeah, it's good to learn how to do a circle. So then I have my circle. And then we are going to do a line in the middle. Whoops. And to do a line in the middle, uh, we just do a line and then I keep still in there and then I have a total straight line. Okay, until there. And then um, I'm going to do a line in the middle of the circle and you can be doing this uh, just in a paper if you want just to learn the um, just to learn how to do this and then uh, I'm going to do a circle in here this is uh, the way that I learned to do it like a lot of years ago I, uh, there are so many different ways to do this. I didn't learn this at the university. They teach you other way uh, because we do anatomy. Uh, but um, this is the way that I teach my students uh, to draw. Uh, so now I'm just doing these lines going down. And uh, you can have uh, the files of, the, of my drawings. Uh, we put a link down and I will explain how you can get all of them so you can do exactly the same that I'm doing. So I'm just putting this. And um, this could be like quite perfect. I'm going to do a circle in here for the nose that is here in the middle. A mark in here. And I'm going to mark just like the middle of the mouth. So look, this could be like the kind of basic, I'm going to mark where are the eyes, and I'm going to explain you what I'm doing. So I'm going to get rid of uh, the text, I'm going to come here, eraser, I'm going to do the eraser a little bit bigger, dun, 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 dun. And then I'm going to move, uh, I'm going to go to the layer 9 that where I have that orange uh, stuff. Uh, you can select in here, so you don't need to do, use the lasso tool. If this is another way to do it. I'm going to go here, select. And then I'm going to select the arrow and I'm going to move that this way. Okay. So now I have like the... Uh, um, basic layout of how to do the face. Now what I'm going to do, because this is just to explain you the foundations and things that you can do. Um, this is not like the way that I recommend to do the drawing for the very beginning. This is a way to learn. So if you do that from all the faces that you are, that you want to do, you're going to learn how to uh, understand better how to do uh, proportions. Okay, so I'm going to go down with the opacity 
and I'm going to use just that like a foundation for my drawing. So I'm going to go black in here, 6B pencil, and then I'm going to start explaining. So what uh, what it means? This means that when you start drawing, like doing your own face, I'm going to move this one um, a little bit. So select arrow, arrow. I'm going to move it in here, and then I'm going to do it in here. So you can do two things. So you can start drawing on the top of that, or you can draw it again. So I'm doing the circle. I'm doing a line in the middle. Okay. Well, that's not really in the middle. A line in the middle. And then another line here in the middle. For teaching you now the proportions. It's more, more or less. You don't need to be like taking measurements for this. Okay. And here. Okay. So now, um, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to do a curve in here because our faces are like, we are like balloons, so it's in here. And then I'm going to take the first measurement of the proportions. So I'm taking, okay, I'm going to take another color. I'm going to do it on the top. Okay, so I'm taking this measurement. That, by the way, I'm telling you oh, exactly that the nose is going to be in here. I can do that circle that I have in here, there. I have the nose in there. And um, then I'm going to have here the eyes. So this is going to be the line for the eyes. This is going to be the nose in here and then I'm going to repeat uh, this measurement that I have in here three times so I'm going to move it to here so this is one two and then I'm going to move it here three so I have three different lines okay so that looks a little bit confusing so I'm going just to do it again so what I did is just uh, this line that is uh, going to give me where the eyes go and then I'm going to put here is going to be the nose and then this measurement I'm going to put it in here and in here so that measurement is going to give me where it's going to finish the, ma the chin or where it will start the finish the chin then I'm going to move this this way and then I'm going to go this other way. We are doing a general one. Then that's going to be like my nose. My nose in here. And then uh, for the eyes, I'm going to put them in here. And I'm going to divide this in three parts. So it's uh, one, two, and three. Like more or less like three different parts. So I have one, two, three. It's again the number three. So here I'm going to do the eyes. Now you can do like, uh, we will explain more. Uh, we will have one class just for eyes, one class just for doing the nose and everything. Meantime, you can do just like if you were doing a leaf. And then I'm going to do uh, like a circle inside for the, for the eyes. Okay. And don't be scared that the first ones look like, or well, all of them, they look like robots almost. So we have like the nose in here. And then uh, we divide this on three parts too. So it's one, two, three. And then the first one is where the mouth is going to go. So the mouth goes in the first part. Okay. And um, we are going to see that uh, artists take a lot of licenses on this. So it's super common that we just, for example, I did the eyes a little bit bigger. Like, 
much bigger than they, they are in reality and everything. But it's just a copy everything exactly from reality. I found it a little bit boring. So to the, know how long has to be the nose, if you just do a line going down from the end of the eyes, you are going to have where the nose goes. If you make the character cry, you have where more or less the, the mouth ends, although I always find that that is like, no, no, that's so big, but yeah, it's like that. And then the nose, if you just come up this line, that is the middle of the circle, is going to be where we have the eyebrows, and we will have a class just for the eyebrows. So then you have this, and so we will speak about how to do the eyebrows and everything. Of course, if I change just a little thing in here, it's going to uh, change a lot. So I'm going to be sure that we have the three parts, like it's one, two, three. So the third part has to be in here, that is the hairline, where the hair goes. So the hair is going to go like in there. And there. And then something that a lot of people look on is that they um, put the hair in here. And what you need to do is just put the hairline a little bit higher, always. So then and that would be like my hair. I go in that way. We have still one more measurement that is uh, for the eyes. And a lot of people they put it on to the top of the eyes. Like on the top of the eyes. And then they do like a letter C. So you can do perfectly a letter C. I like to do it the top a little bit bigger uh, and then that letter C inverted in here like common okay and uh, we will speak about the eyes and everything I'm now going to give with a little bit of personality so you can do that too like you can uh, see how to do it okay so if it's a man um, we'll have uh, normally the um, neck a little bit thicker and then if you are doing a character because this is valid for if you do um, if you do a, a realistic drawing or if you are doing a manga or whatever in manga you have the eyes are going to be so much bigger and they have another kind of different rules but you can use this for a lot of uh, illustrations and everything so I'm going to put like a hoodie in here. So what I recommend you is that following these steps, try to do your own, your own thing. So uh, because just changing a few things, uh, you will be like really um, surprised on how to when you can create your own character. So that's a little bit the idea on doing um, your own uh, learning proportions because then you can do like a little bit your own stuff so you can create your own characters and the thing is that um, uh, it's good to understand a little bit of this uh, um, measurement or proportions how whatever you want to call it uh, because um, when you are doing your uh, you are copying a drawing or a person uh, that you know or something you need to uh, understand uh, a little bit on anatomy because sometimes it's like you know you do the drawing and it's like something is grown but I don't know what it is so then check check if, if the eyes are so far away from each other or check if the nose is so far that's so common so far away too or check um if the lips are small or, or is the that kind of things we will improve about and we will speak a lot about that kind of things and yeah it's like the important thing too is to have fun do some sketches that you see you can do these perfectly with um, 
with a pencil so you don't need to be using like this but you can do your own kind of shadows until you learn a little bit more on how to do things and everything and just have fun a little bit so well um well i was just having a little bit of fun with that but this is just a prototype so it's just for you to to get like kind of the foundations on on how to draw smiling is better Christ. <laughs> well i'm going to put a little bit more expression in here and then now i'm going to show you a little bit of the exercise that you can uh, do uh, like if you feel like well uh, i'm not going to be able to do that, that carolina can you just yeah, simplify it a little bit more so what I recommend you is just to uh, do that with the photos. So if you have my photo or this drawing or other drawing, you just a screenshot and then practice and practice and practice and nobody's going to tell you anything if you are practicing with a drawing of another artist. Come on. It's like, how do you think that Leonardo da Vinci and all these people were learning art? They were going to museums, they were going to places where they were uh, art of the maestros of the people that were the good ones and they were copying their drawings to learn so yeah it's like it's too much hypocrisy about that <clears throat> okay so how we do it with the other ones and how i say that this is a frontal one so all these rules about that there, and we're going to check mine we're going to check what i did so i haven't done this so i'm not sure okay so we're going to check and most probably because this is not totally like uh it's not totally a it's not a realistic illustration it's more like a cartoon really so look it's suppose that we have to have an eye between eyes so yeah kind of it, it needed to be a little bit more separated that's because i did the eyes super super big um there are even artists that they explain in some books and everything, I'm going to go for another, that um, you should do five. So it's not three, like one, two, and three. And I normally I just leave a little bit of space. Can you see? Just a little bit of space, that's it. There are artists that they say that you have to do five, but is that that will not go with my style because I just do like really big eyes because I love it like kind of do it but um, yeah five I think that is too much but take a look on uh, drawings and, and take a look to that so another thing um, that we are going to check if I did or not did right we are going to divide this on three parts so I have this okay so I suppose that is like one two and three so it's one two and three okay that's fine that's more or less so it would be three it's true that i suppose that this would be in more books they say that you have to do this bigger i don't think that that's totally right i prefer to do it a little bit more like the lips a little bit smaller and uh, if i will need to put ears in here uh, because of my character I will need to put them in this line in here and then then is the nose and then I will go up and down and down in here or something like that up and down and down and there like and I will put them a little bit farther away so I'm going to just check on that so it will be more like that one. Well, I'm going to go for uh, for another different one. So I really like this one. And I'm just going to be uh, short because, again, I have 22 minutes and I just wanted this to be a 10 minute. So I will learn to do it better. Just hang in there. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to put a layer on the top of that. So how we do when they are not looking uh, to the front and how I know that they are not looking to the front properly. So I will do 
aligning here. So it's kind of easy because uh, this part is smaller than this part. Can you see it? It's because it's looking that way. So because it's looking to that way, that means that this part is going to be smaller. The eye, because of the perspective, is going to be smaller than this eye. And this part of the lips uh, is going to be smaller than this part of the lips. Because this is a three quarters. That is like, you don't see, it's not a frontal one, it's looking, it's, it's uh, not only looking, but it has moved the face and is looking that way. So the way they are looking, everything is going to be smaller in that part. Can you see that even the nose? I have that part and this part is so much bigger. So this that looks like super basic is super, super important for when you are doing the drawing. And if I am doing that with this, I will do a circle in here. I will do this kind of rounded. And I will uh, mark where it goes, the face, and then I will mark in here how to do the eyebrows, I will mark where to go the eyes, circle for the nose with a triangle, and then I will mark the lips. I did this really fast. So what I recommend you is to use a little bit more of time, even try to copy perfectly the eyes and everything. It's a practice. It's, a, it's like if you were discovering the, the drawing. So just try to divide everything in uh, shapes. And that's a really, really good practice. The same with the other two. So for example, in here, I will do like a circle that always, always helps. Do the circle, okay, the layers, mm -hmm. okay, so you know me, I go down, I go here, and then I will go for a circle where the nose is, I will uh, put a line in here and then I will come this way and this way and I will do the eye. So you can see that this is a little bit different. So it's like if you were doing a robot. Okay, a different one, we do a circle, then we do a line in the middle, then we do the borders of the face, then we do the nose that is looking up, so I just put like that part, because this is more about understanding, so even you can just go on and do that, to the eyes, try to do a circle in here, uh, and another kind of line, the lips, and this. So it's kind of how to start with a super uh, geometric shape. Okay, so what I recommend you is, uh, if you want to be prepared for the class of tomorrow, just draw this one. I'll try to do the drawing because tomorrow I'm going to do a skin. If you don't have time or you don't want to draw, maybe the drawing is not still like your strong, I'm going to have in the files the drawing of this one, so then you can go directly and learn how to do the skin. So we are going to do the skin uh, tomorrow because it's the first thing that I do. Like I just do the skin and then later I do the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the last thing, the clothing uh, and the hair. Okay, so I hope that you enjoy this class and I will see you in the next class. Bye!